Hey, everyone. Hey, Raul. Hey, <laughs> Raul, um, Kendo has been in with good fighters before. Uh, Cepeda, uh, August, none of them stopped him. Do you take pride in that, that you were the first guy that was able to stop him? You beat him a lot more convincingly than those other top names did? Oh, first of all, I want to thank uh, God for this opportunity. Uh, my promoters, Oscar De La Hoya, Golden Boy, here, Eddie Thomas, all the Golden Boy crew to always support me. And yeah, we know uh, Castagnari was a tough competitor. We know he, he already fought with the good names in boxing, like Pedro Lapis Vargas, but we do a, a very good camp. And we are, feel very comfortable, me and Freddie and my team. You know, we can uh, do a great fight, even stop him. And, you know, thank God we got the victory for knockout. Um, what what do you feel like you learned um, in this fight with uh, Castaneda? I try to learn in, in every fight. Uh, like I say, he's a tough competitor. I respect him, and um, we 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 looking forward to this twenty twenty two. Uh, we'll see um, my my promoters up to me for my career, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep working hard, more harder. Well, who's ready to step it up? I mean, you know, Freddie Roach has been telling us that. He's doing great in the gym. Uh, he wants the bigger fights. Uh, so I think 2022 is like a coming out party for him. So we're gonna have to do better fights with him. And I mean, what can you say? I mean, look, he's got one of the, I'm not gonna say trainer, one of the best teachers in his corner, with Freddie Rose, because he really is a teacher. And, uh, and you can see it in the ring. You can see it in the ring. I mean, he's a way better fighter than he was a year ago, two years ago. Uh, so we're very, very happy. And we're excited about the future too as well. You have a lot of 147 pounds in the Golden Boy State Lark. I mean, how quickly do you want to move them? And, you know, are those names, she, Ellis, Rocha, um, are those names that you look to? I'll tell you, I'll tell you, after tonight, he's maybe a fight or two away from being able to challenge those guys. He's really I mean, he spars with some of the best welterweights in the world. You know, he's in the gym with some of the best fighters in the world. So uh, we have every bit of confidence in him. And uh, look, we're going to gauge him fight to fight. That's the way you, you gauge prospects, fight to fight. But the way he looked tonight, he's a fight or two away from challenging some of the guys in the top 10. So by the end of 2022, you think you'll be in with, you know, those What do you think, really though? You want yeah, 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 absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and later, I know I want to step into a ring one of those names. But um, we're going to keep working hard on the gym. And, you know, this 2022 is going to be huge for me. I, I believe so. It was an A plus performance. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the combination, the speed, everything. I mean, he looked really, really good. So we're very happy. We're proud of him. Um, you know, look. When, when again, when you're developing these prospects like Victor, like Raúl, um, you want to test them. You want to test them. But then there's also development fights. Uh, this fight tonight showed that he's been passing every test. And this was a little bit of a test tonight. It was a test for him. It was an undefeated fighter. And you know, he passed the performance or not? He has one loss, I think. Okay. Anyway. Casnita. It was a tough fight. Yeah, I was a little surprised. When I saw that name. I was like, that's a tough fight for this. It was a tough yeah. fight. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're very happy right now. We're trying. We're gonna, we're gonna try to enjoy it with my family these holidays, and we're gonna back the sooner as possible to the gym and keep working. <laughs> Um, Ra Raul, if, if you had it your way, um, the, the Golden Boy welterweight you talked about earlier, um, mm -hmm. which one of the Golden Boy welterweights would, would you like to fight if you had it your way? Everyone. Everyone? everyone. I think anyone specific? Anyone? Yeah, no, no. No? No. no. Specific. <laughs> I respect all the, all the fighters, but um, I'm going to keep prepared very well, and you will see in the next year. Okay. Be a huge team to be Golden Boy heavyweight. I mean, welterweight. Yeah, yeah. then they mentioned that's why. Yeah. 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 Any of the welterweights, any anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bro. I saw that you're up in the concession stands with your family and friends. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to have them here for it? You know, to see that. Well, what, what does your family mean to you? No, it's everything. It's everything to me. You know, now they have the opportunity to come to see me fight. And they always support me. They always support me. This is my motivation, you know. And I'm very happy that they, they come to see me and win. You know, I didn't see my mom and my dad. Five, five months ago, I always, you know, try to uh, stay away from home, you know, to do the camp. But um, right now, I'm going to try to enjoy with my family and spend the holidays with them. Thank you. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you.